You know, when I found this picture of the Ebony Showcase Theater, the first place where I landed my first paid acting gig at the age of eight years old, I couldn't help but think that maybe I can find some history of me being there. So I did some digging and to my surprise, I discovered something that wasn't expected. I found that the Ebony Showcase Theater was a cornerstone for many, many, many people in the entertainment industry. I found this short film clip, so hey, let's take a look. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Ebony Showcase Theater, LA's hottest nightclub. We've got a great show for you tonight. So all you celebrities and beautiful people, sit back and relax. Because your limousines are all back in strip. Hi, fellas. Yo, homeboy, who's that skis I saw you down with? Man, that girl's program was weak, man. I dished that hog and broke to the crib. I hear that. Yo, boss, check it out. Me and Joe been working on that act, and we ready. Word, we ready to go on tonight, man. We gonna be fabulous. We gonna be stupefied and shit. Check this out. We should be telling jokes, but we're working in the kitchen. It's funny as we all your gunners out here frying chicken. We're gonna be stars, the folks gonna clap. So take a sneak peek at our car and We know we're really good, cause our mama told us so. Why you look at me? The rest I do not know. But we dearly love the creative process, and you promised us we could go on tonight, right? Did I say that right? Absolutely. So keep on preparing those chickens, stupid. Man, I'm so excited I can't even cook. This is our big night, man. I can feel it. We're gonna go on tonight. We're gonna be stupid fresh, man. We're gonna be stupid fresh. You know, there could be somebody out there important to discover us. By this time next year, we could be collecting Academy Awards, man. I can see it now. Thank you, Sly, man. God bless you and good luck with Rocky 8. Uh, Gosh, such an honor. This is such an honor. I'd like to say thank you to my lovely wife who's put up with a lot. God, Janet Jackson, wherever you are, babe, I love you. To all my, all my in-laws, Michael Jackson and Tito and Emmanuel Lewis, I don't want to leave out anybody. Oh, gosh, my director, Mr. John Houston. John, this is for you, man. <laughs> Thanks for directing me in Son of Shaft. Oh, and my co-star, Vanity. Vanity, we did a love scene and you were totally nude. That meant a lot to me. Love you, babe. You like me. You really like me. Shit, man, that's what you're gonna do? What the fuck is wrong with that? Yo, man, I do it totally different. Thanks, Sly. First of all, here's some of the people I don't want to thank. I don't want to thank my third grade teacher, Mr. Brett, who told me that my future lied in buffing. That's right, I'm collecting an Academy Award and you're a grown man teaching the third grade. Second of all, to Kim Brown, who never wanted to go out with me. You big buck tooth bitch. I wouldn't give you five cents to get cheese on a Whopper. If the good die young, I get your ugly ass to live forever. I want to say what's up to my homeboys, Run DMC, and my wife, Lisa Bonet. You ain't married to no Lisa Bonet, man. Get the fuck out of here. You better say hello to Oprah. <laughs> Theater creator Nick Stewart had a vision that helped launch new and vintage talent into the world of entertainment. That vision still resides in many artists that have the opportunity to work with Mr. Stewart. Join his daughter, Valerie Stewart, in continuing his vision by visiting ebonyshowcase.org and learn how you can participate or even create your own new future upcoming project, like the Bring Peace to the World music video by Zena Ayo, who is currently searching for talented children under the age of 18. Press the subscribe and bell button below to receive the next film clip showing even more artists that performed at the Ebony Showcase Theater guaranteed to surprise you. And thanks for watching.